What's up, everybody? It's your boy 722 Marine here. And this evening, I want to talk about um, gifts, gifts and desires. What are the, what should be the desires of our heart? And what is the best gift that is given? We, we desire things sometimes from people, whether it's material thing, with things, or whether it's just company, whether it's uh, approval. We all desire something from someone. And we all ask God for things as far as believers. We want God to give us uh, maybe help with our help with our bills. Uh, help making decisions but I want to talk about the best desire and the best gift the best gift ever given to man is not heaven and certainly not anything here on earth the best gift ever given to man is God himself <laughs> The Lord our God offers himself to us to be with us, to dwell in us, to, to abide in us, and us to abide in him forever. And the scriptures repeatedly points this out. Uh, Romans 6 and 23 says that for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. See, life is in God. There's no life outside of God, no spiritual life. When we look at people who are unbelievers, unsaved, unregenerate, unregenerate we're looking at dead souls. We're looking at dead people walking because they are separated from the life of God that's in Christ Jesus. Uh. God is offering himself to us today. He wants to be our desire. He wants to be our everything. He wants to give us life and life more abundantly. But this life is only found in Jesus Christ. This life is only found in God. Galatians 1 to 4 says, who gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil war world according to the will of God and our Father. It's God, it was God's will to give himself for us, to deliver us from sin, to clean us up, to fill us with his Holy Spirit, to empower us to do his will, which we cannot do without him. He wants to walk hand in hand with us today. He wants to he wants us to look into his eyes, to seek his face, to desire him. He loves us and he wants us to love him. Jesus said, if if you love me, you will keep my commandments. So God desires our hearts and our minds. He desires all of us. Everything that we have to give him. That's our hearts, our mind, our soul, our will, our emotions. He wants us to completely yield over to him. And the only way we can do that is by his power, his grace, his mercy, his spirit. The famous passage, I think one of the most famous passages in the Bible, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life, eternal life. He gave his son. He gave himself. He sent his son. To die for us, to rise from the dead for us, so that we could be with him. Uh, John 17, 3 said, And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. To know God is not having a, a knowledge of him. To know God is to be intimate with him, to be indwelt by him, to abide in him, and he abide in us. That's the knowledge of God and uh, experiential knowledge, uh, experiencing a daily walk with God, experiencing 
a daily uh, uh, experience in the indwelling power and presence of the Holy Spirit. And it's something that can't be, uh, it's something that you can't achieve by the works of the law, by keeping the law. It's something that you can't uh, go out and purchase. You have to have a relationship with God, a, a personal, up close relationship, a father son, father daughter relationship, a, a master servant relationship, a friend relationship with the living God. Uh, God gave Himself. Jesus answered and said unto him, "If a man love me, he will keep my keep my words." And my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our bow with him. See, God, the triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come to make their abode with us. And uh, Luke 11 and 13, it says, If you then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children how much more shall your heavenly father give the holy spirit to them that ask what a gift what a great opportunity we have to receive the best gift to receive the living god the creator of the universe the the lover of our souls to receive him into our own bodies to let our bodies be his temple to let our bodies be his dwelling place, to let our hearts and minds be his sanctuary. Or uh, we can be sanctuaries for his Holy Spirit, I should say. So that's the best gift, and that's what we should be desiring today. We should be desiring the presence of God. We should be desiring to honor God. We should be desiring to yield more unto him daily. That's the best gift. And everything else is good as far as uh, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Uh, you know, receiving answers to prayers for things that happen in this life. But our number one desire ought to be to receive and yield to God on a daily basis. And I just hope and pray that we can recognize that when you when you have Christ Jesus, when you have the our Heavenly Father, when you have the Holy Spirit, when you have God, you have everything that you need. You have the best gift that was ever offered to man. And that's uh, eternal life in Jesus Christ our Savior. God bless you and keep you. And I hope that uh, you just pray on this matter and ask God to just open up your heart. And mind to just really stay focused on him in these last days as we see the uh, the world around us becoming more wicked, more evil, more destructive, more hateful. That uh, we won't be corrupted by the influences of the world. That we won't allow our flesh to uh, draw us into sin. That we won't get caught up in the snares of the adversary. And I just encourage you as my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus to um, stay prayerful, stay, uh, stay in your word, and just keep on hoping and trusting in uh, the soon return of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ. Won't be too much longer now. God bless you.